the exponential growth of human being that we, there's a confusion here we need to know that there is a completely difference between creation and invention so human has been able to invent as you could see machines and missiles and uh, uh, I mean all this uh, exponential growth of technological advance and including the artificial intelligence the human robot but the human being himself is not a robot so when you look carefully the human has capability to invent to all do, do all this so we we try to differentiate between invention and creation so human is, is created so when you look carefully here in the uh, uh, comparison between between on the right side and the left side that's taking a take an example of a, a a vehicle it relies on the capability of the vehicle based on the periodic maintenance in addition to the fuels so we coined them all these under one name the fuel take an example of a, a traditional vehicle that runs on a power steering fluid engine coolant transmission oil engine oil brake oil and so on without these fuels without making sure that you abide with the manufacturer's uh, specification they cannot run that vehicle irrespective of the price the brand or the model But with a human being, human is not a fabricated. Human is a created. And it, it relies on its own inner intelligence, in inner a specific methodology that we need to understand as a, to understand nature and overall and understand the human being. And to understand that human is composed of with the, what we call, we, we call them the human, uh, the body's fuels. The fields, the four essential elements of life, exclusively, specifically, they come from water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. And all these, they come from one source, just aqua. We coined it aqua as hot aqua or hot water. Hot water has been the source of creation and growth of every human being. When you look on your left side, of the picture of the presentation you look carefully this is you this is every human being you came from a womb of a mother you know and there was no exemption there's no exemption of the fluid which is co called the amniotic fluid and amniotic fluid when you try to study carefully we found it's actually aqua or hot water uh, specifically it's 99 percent water and the temperatures exactly, specifically, stay steady at 37.5 degree uh, Celsius or 99.5 degree Fahrenheit. So that throughout the fetal development, it doesn't change. It, when it's the temperature drop or, uh, or the, the, the water drop in the womb of the mother, then there would be something wrong with the baby. It, you know, the fetal growth will not take uh, pr uh, I mean, I mean, pr properly. So we believe that the aqua or hot water coined as one name, Hakwa, is the source, exclusive source of every single creation, a creation and growth of every human being. There is no any exemption here. But when you look on your right, human being is so sensitive. Any foreign invaders, they pose a threat, more they can do good. So even we are not against medical industry. The medical industry have done exponential, I mean, a tremendous tremendous uh, uh, achievement they managed to save the world you know and the population of the world to maintain good health but still there is a big challenge the challenge is have we managed to maintain a good health care system that will grow exponentially side by side symmetrically with the exponential growth of technological advance that's the question mark so why what's going wrong is that our body is so sensitive the human body would the moment it take anything to your body irrespective of what is it just they are trained they're considered as foreign invaders even the food that you are not used to it may be considered as foreign invaders so the immune system is there to protect you and try to swallow anything that's considered as a foreign invader so the drugs they may do good but then because these are fabricated then there's a big challenge to secure the healthy lifestyle of human being in all the four aspects of the physical emotional emotional mental and spiritual this is the reason we find ourselves we are at war with the viruses, with the pathogenic invasions, with the bacteria, and full bacteria, with all these chemicals and environmental uh, 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 complications.